BT Potter. And it will come out to the 25. To Georgia Tech is the running back. He had 1,000 yards at Buffalo a year ago. Off play action, Sims looking deep. Arm hit, takes a shot. Ball is underthrown. Picked off inside the 30 yard line by Andrew Makuba. And really can't get into the throw. Really good job pressing the pocket. And in center field, Andrew Makuba, going to be one of the great safeties in all of college football. Booyanga Malay going to take off here inside the 20 down to about the 17. Ball came out and got a jumps on it. Well, they're wrestling for that down below. There's a Georgia Tech player that came away with it. It's really hard to tell as Uwe Ungalale's left leg is about to go down and Ace Ely comes in and punches it out. The old peanut punch. Watch it punch it right on the football. Bang! Comes out. And then how about the awareness and Gata jumps on the football and Ely scrappy jumps on top rips it away massive play here for Georgia Tech and brings some type of pressure to confuse this front for Georgia Tech it's a young group a lot of transfers on that O-line here's a screen beautifully set up to Smith past the 35 and out of bounds close to the line to gain might be closer than the actual spot they are going for it on fourth down they run the same play Sims straight ahead and they get the first down out near the 40. Third and eight. See if Tech brings pressure. They only rush four. Uyunga Lale from the pocket. Going to get hit. And down he goes. Sack back at the 22-yard line. Keon White in the backfield for a nine-yard loss. And most people around the sport think he's going to be a rising star as a defensive quarterback. Clemson blocks the punt. struggles. Carson Donnelly blocked it. Excellent job working inside. Fighting through that block on the interior. And a big time block by Donnelly. It's going to be Shipley and he walks into the end zone for the touchdown. Left side of your offensive line, your best lineman, Jordan McFadden, and then your tight end, Davis Allen. Watch McFadden with the block down, and Allen with the kick out. Nice hole off the left side as Shipley walks in the end zone and finally gets his Clemson offense on the board. Excellent job there by the senior, Jordan McFadden, helping pave a path. Sometimes you go behind your best players. Good call there by Brandon Street. Picking up the tempo here, Dave. Sims with time, fires over the middle, and it's caught again for a first down by McCollum. So they're going to go for the field goal. Jude Kelly is one for six in his career, and this is a 50-yard attempt. And it's no good. DJ looking, now airs it out, got a man, it's caught inside the 40 by Collins. And inside the 35, the way Clemson's defense has played and Georgia Tech's offense has struggled. Uyunga Lay on a design run inside the 15, breaks a tackle, can't keep his feet, but did get a first down to the 8-yard line, so a gain of 12 for Uyunga Lay. Big play here defensively for Georgia Tech. DJ looking, now forced to leave the pocket, throws back in the end zone, that's a strike, and it's a touchdown! Bo Collins got free in the back of the end zone for six. By Bo Collins. Going to work inside. Nothing's there. And as DJ breaks the pocket, he sees him, locates him, breaks off his route, works outside away from the coverage. Plenty of time for Clemson, too. They called the timeout earlier. And from 45 yards, Kelly splits the uprights and gets Georgia Tech on the board. He's at the top of your screen on third down and three. Uyunga Malay in trouble, gets hit, and then gets rid of the ball. And it's picked up at the 25-yard line. His arm was going forward, though. It's an incomplete pass. The question is, is that grounding? Tech going up tempo from the Clemson 41. They've been able to get into Clemson territory a few times. And down goes Sims. Fumble the ball. 
it's still free and Georgia Tech able to recover Corey Robinson with it's a play to jump on it second down and 18 and Sims hands it off and breaking tackle stiff arming Smith gets good yardage there on second and 18 picks up 11. Sims with time waiting fires end zone got a man pulled in for the touchdown by EJ Jenkins Georgia Tech needed a big play and that's exactly what they have six seven wide receiver put it up high away from the defender where only the wide receiver can make a play perfect placement on that football from Jeff Sims and good strong hands to Four-year starter at corner for Georgia Tech. Second and ten. Louis Ungalale over the middle. Brennick still on the ground. Inside the 25 and down to the 22-yard line. So another first down. Clemson getting close to the red zone. The offensive player lowers his head, but that doesn't matter. Right, Matt? It really doesn't. It's all about what the defender does. And in this case, the defender definitely lowers his head. He attacks with force with the crown of his helmet. That's textbooks targeting, and he's done for the night. And he extends the lead, taking over for the departed Tony Elliott, now the head coach of Virginia. We'll see what he dials up here for his quarterback on third and four. Pressure off the edge. DJ hit. Uyunglele spun, and then he flips it backwards to Shipley, who's got the first down past the 40-yard line. Great heads-up play. Great play by DJ on third and four, making something out of nothing. Quarterback run. Uyunglele breaks a tackle at the five. Into the end zone for the touchdown. Looks a lot better running the football. Well, let's just go quarterback counter. Pull backside guard. He's going to get a kick out block. Brenning Sewell is going to travel with him. Get a seal. Open up a nice hole for Uwe Unglele. Runs through the arm tackle. Steps over it as he strolls into the end zone. Well blocked off that left side. Boy, whew. Jordan McFadden buries that defensive end. Really seeing them in this second half. Lean on the left side of that offensive line and find a lot of success. Clemson's been good on third down this half. Uyunglele from the pocket, going deep, and it's caught for a first down by Davis Allen. That was a great throw to the 45 of Georgia Tech. Uyunglele to throw, in trouble, steps up, and down he goes at the 14 for a sack. I practiced all summer for it. Duke Aruk Arororo. And there's Brzee and Jeremiah Trotter teaming up to take down Sims on third and five. So it's fourth down and close to 10 now. Trotter and another Brzee. block. That's the second punt block. And it's scooped up at the 20-yard line. Down to the 15. Billy Wiles blocked it. Bentley scooped it up. Second block punt for Clemson tonight. Woodhouse could have taken it off his foot. Just like you draw it up in practice, Dave. Quality penetration, full extension. Take the ball off the foot. True freshman. Shipley. And he's in for the Clemson touchdown, and that will put this one away. And a big hole to stroll into the end zone. It, it's interesting, Dave. We focus so much on offense and defense. And so many times it's special teams. Clemson didn't have that last year, guys. <laughs> On the rollout, Klubnik throws complete. First down to the 42 yard line. Will Taylor on the catch. Outside the pocket. I like the decision here. Let's move the pocket, pull a guard out in front, locates his open man, and just. Other next game against Western Carolina, and you're right. The dam kind of burst once he went out of the game. Kate Klubnik with his first. Career touchdown pass, finding Will Taylor. And Clemson's got 40 on the board. Right now, there isn't competition. It's DJ's job. And the Tigers run their win streak to seven in a row with a 31-point win on the road. Thanks for watching ESPN on YouTube. For live streaming sports and premium content, subscribe to ESPN+.